Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at a basic example illustrating or how to sample from a continuous signal. We will also look at how to plot these different discrete signals for different values of the sampling interval. Given the continuous signal x of t equal to cos of x of t equal to cos of 2 pi to time t. The sampling system is given by y of t is equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of t the unit impulse delta of t minus nt. The system can be rewritten as y of t that is the output can be rewritten as y of t is equal to x of t where t is equal to nt and 0 elsewhere. Now we want to see how to calculate the sampled values that is how to sample from this continuous signal x of t for different values of the sampling interval t. Say for example t is equal to 1 then y of t is equal to x of t for t is equal to n that is whenever the time t is equal to an integer we take the value of the signal x of t and assign it to the output y of t otherwise it is 0. Similarly, for t is equal to 1 by 2, y of t will be equal to x of t at t equal to n by 2 and 0 elsewhere. And we follow the process for different values of the interval t. That is for example, t equal to say 1 by 8, y of t will be equal to x of t only when t is equal to n by 8 otherwise it is 0. Clearly as the value of t decreases and approaches 0 the sampled version or the discrete signal is approaching the continuous signal that is it will look more and more like the continuous signal x of t. Now let us look at the simulations to illustrate this sampling process. This python code has basically three sections. The first one shows the original signal and the second one shows the sampled versions and the final one is a discrete signal for a very small value of the sampling interval t. The, that is the final discrete signal is resembling the original continuous signal or at least very close to the original continuous signal. So the first plot is the original cosine signal cos of 2 pi times t. The first plot corresponds to the sampling interval t equal to 1 that is for t equal to 1 we can clearly see that y of t is equal to x of t for time t equal to an integer n and clearly for integer values the cos of 2 pi n is equal to 1 therefore for when t is equal to 1 we should see y of t is equal to 1 that is for all integer values of t and 0 elsewhere that is what we see in the first plot that is what we see here in the first plot. In the second plot we see the sampled version or the discrete signal for t equal to 1 by 2. For t equal to 1 by 2 we see that y of t is equal to x of t for t equal to n by 2 that is for t equal to 0, 0.5, 1, 1 1.5 and so on this function this signal y of t should be equal to the input x of t at these values otherwise it should be 0 that is why and clearly from the original signal we can see that for t equal to 0 and t equal to 1 and so on the value is 1 the value of the signal is 1 and for t equal to 0 0.5 1.5 and so on the value is equal to minus 1 that is precisely the, va the value of the discrete signal in the second plot that is it is equal to positive 1 for the values of time equal to 1 2 and the and the, all the integers and for multiples of 0.5 it is equal to minus minus 1 similarly as the sampling interval is reduced say for example to 1 by 8 and so on we can clearly see that we can clearly see that the discrete signal is starting to resemble the original continuous signal for example here third plot shows for time t for the sampling interval t equal to 1 by 4 and this is equal to 1 by 8 1 by 16 and this is equal to t equal to 1 by 32 so this discrete signal is is closely resembling the original signal or original continuous version and finally for t equal to 1 by 64 we can clearly see that the discrete signal is similar to the original continuous signal 
Thus, from this example, we can learn that as the sampling interval reduces, that is, it gets closer and closer to zero, the discrete signal, that is, the sampled signal, will look more and more like the original continuous signal. Thanks for watching.